it was just a family that had that incredible belief in their own ability. It was a great development time. No, there isn't the skill in making fish and tackle anymore like there used to be. Because you look at our old catalogues and uh, the works of art really for the things we made for anglers. I don't think there's any of the modern rods will cast such a smooth, you know, perfect line as that did. It was a beautiful rod. This is history. Isn't it? No. Yes. But uh, fishing has been me, me life, you know. Loved every minute of it. The old generation, they didn't like change. Believe me, I've had a number of sleepless nights facing some of the key decisions that we've had to make because it was a fundamental change. Moving from a manufacturing-led business to a sales and marketing-led business. I think split cane is still a material from which one can make an absolutely sensational rod. You'll see a lot more people coming up out of woodwork actually producing really quite interesting, in innovative stuff. These are made exactly the same way as the old reels were made. It isn't just an anonymous item that you've plucked off a shelf in a shop anymore. It becomes something that's very personal and special in your life. In modern days, you make things, you put them in a box, you never see them again. The soulless, these things have got character and soul, and hopefully they'll be about forever, really. <laughs>